racial profiling has roots here in New Jersey, especially along the New Jersey Turnpike. In 2001, the state paid $13 million in a racial profiling lawsuit to four minority men, Leroy Grant, Danny Rays, Kashawn Moore, and Rayshawn Brown. It's because of what happened in 1998. The men were targeted and stopped on the turnpike by two white state troopers, John Hogan and James Kenna. Moments later, three of them were shot multiple times. The case sparked national outcry, and tonight I spoke to survivor Danny Reyes about his very traumatic experience. Yeah, we, we were uh, four college basketball students. Um, uh, Keyshawn, the driver, was the one that knew everybody and invited everybody to this uh it was going to be these basketball uh workouts down in north carolina as we was uh near exit 7a on the turnpike we uh that's when i noticed uh the the troopers for the first time uh riding next to us looking inside the car my first reaction was really to see how fast uh Keyshawn was driving and he was going right at the speed limit so i honestly thought they were just gonna look and then continue on their way uh, but then they did the opposite. They kind of, I uh, guess, uh, slow down and we, we proceeded. And that's when they decided to come behind us and put their lights on to pull us over. I was in the front passenger seat. So I remember just kind of waiting for the whole license and registration routine. Uh, and as we stopped, I felt a bump. Um, and I guess what must have happened is they pulled right behind us, right? And um, ultimately it, it comes to find out that Keyshawn didn't put it all the way apart. He put it in reverse. So the bumpers did tap, right? All of a sudden uh, they jumped out and I heard the gunshot. And then uh, one of the troopers came to my window. I was in the front passenger. So he, he took his baton out and just breaks the window with his baton. Um, at that moment is when you know, I, I tried to show him that I wasn't trying anything funny, so I just showed him my hands, and he just cocked his pistol, started firing. So that's why I got shot twice in his arm, because I, when when I saw him cock his pistol, I just went like this and put my leg up. So two hit my arm and it shattered my bones. So immediately, like my my arm was on fire, so I actually ended up getting shot twice on my on my head. One was in and out of that, and then the other one traveled. That's the one that's in my stomach. I got shot in this arm. It was just, and it didn't hit the bone, so I didn't even attempt to really feel it. And then I got shot in my back. That one is very fortunate. It's right next to my spine. But as as that happened, and the, the gun, I guess the, the other trooper was shooting from the other side as well, right? Uh, Jermaine and Ray Sean were sleeping in the back. So they kind of woke up to bullets. Um, and Keyshawn was like, because it was a minivan, so he was just like, like this. So um, I was in a state of shock. They, their story was that we tried to run them over, that they was on the floor fearing for their lives as the car was coming at them. And, and you know, so, and that, was, that wasn't what happened. Like, you know, in our case, it, there was so much discovery done when it comes to, you know, the way that they even trained the troopers in Jersey, how to profile minorities um, from way back. You know, it, it was bigger than just to, that troopers, it was a whole system. In 2002, Hogan and Kenna pleaded guilty to lesser charges in that turnpike shooting, admitting they were trained to target minorities. They lost their jobs as New Jersey state troopers, but avoided any jail time in that settlement, that $13 million settlement. The state did not admit any guilt.